All right, I'm back. More geometric sequences. Math one, Mr. Chutna, Clovis High School. All right, so according to a recent survey, if you insert a musical instrument into a sentence, most people don't notice. Oh, Natalie just got it. Nice, Ricardo too. Okay, all right, good. If you didn't get it, somebody spend a second explaining it to the person next to you. Okay, so moving on. We need to solidify, make sure we understand geometric sequences. Okay, you guys, and remember that you can tell if a sequence, which is going to be a list of numbers, that follow some type of a pattern, if the pattern is created by multiplication, then we know that we have a geometric sequence, okay? So I'm gonna write down this sequence of numbers right here. 3, 12, 48, 192, 768 dot 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 and once again the dot 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 just means that it keeps going soup chain what is the sequence being created by what are we multiplying by oh you're right soup chain good job you're multiplying by four so if you take three and if you multiply it by four that's going to give you 12. if you take 12 and you multiply it by four that is going to give you 48. If you take 48 and you multiply it by 4, that's going to give you 192, and so on and so forth. And take my word for it, you can try it on, out on your calculator. If you take 4 and you multiply it by 192, you're going to get 768. Okay, now whenever we talk about, so this is a geometric sequence. Why is this a geometric sequence? Because we are creating the pattern by multiplication. Okay, so whenever we have a geometric sequence, there are a couple things you want to be aware of. You want to be aware of what is the A1 value. Okay, well, the A1 value stands for the first number or the first term in the sequence. Okay, so the first number or the starting value is 3. So my A1 value here is going to be 3, and then the second part of a geometric sequence you always want to be aware of is what's the R value. The R value stands for the common ratio and as we just said in the previous video the common ratio is whatever you're multiplying by which in this case as soup chain said was 4 we're going to multiply by 4. Okay so you guys those are always important components of a geometric sequence and here's why. There are two formulas that you need to be aware of whenever we talk about geometric sequence. Michael, Curtis, what are they? The two formulas. Good, Michael. One of the formulas is the explicit formula, and the other formula is, what'd you say, Michael? You're whispering. Say it louder so we could all hear it. Recursive formula. Good, Michael. It's the recursive formula. So the other formula is what we call the recursive formula. Okay, so you guys need to be familiar with these two formulas. Okay, Gisette, you've been paying attention, no doubt. So you know what the explicit formula is. So Gisette, what's the explicit formula? Correct. It is A subscript N. You put an equal sign. A subscript 1 times R to the exponent N minus 1. Okay? And, as Gisette said, although, you, you know, she went above and beyond, A1 stands for the, the first value, the starting value in the formula. R stands for the common ratio. Okay? So remember that A1, that stands for your starting value, as Gisette just said, if you didn't hear her. Okay? you got to listen carefully. R stands for the common ratio, and the common ratio is whatever you are multiplying by. Okay? All right, Jaden, Salazar, 
the recursive formula. Good, Jaden. You're absolutely right. It always involves two lines. The first line is a subscript one is equal to a, and the second part of the recursive formula is a subscript n is equal to a subscript n minus one times r. Okay, so what I want to do is I just want to take this geometric sequence 312, 48, 192, 768, and I want to write the explicit formula for this geometric sequence, and I want to write the recursive formula for this geometric sequence. Okay, and like I said in the previous video, whenever you're writing the formulas, you are always going to put a number in the place of the A1s and the R's. So numbers are going to go into the places where what I'm circling. And everything else you're going to leave as is in the formula. Okay? And there'll be one day when we'll, when we'll talk about what's the formula is used for and stuff like that. Right now we're just getting used to the formulas. Okay, so Yua, Yua Zhang. Let's write the explicit formula. Okay, so go ahead, tell me what it is. Okay, you need to speak a little bit, okay, good. A little bit louder, good, all right. So, A N, A subscript N, you leave as is. You leave the equal sign as is, and if you didn't hear Yua, she said A1 is three. That's your starting value. So you're gonna put a three where A1 is in the formula. Then you put a multiplication symbol, that's perfect Yua. And then R, if you didn't hear her, she said was four. So in the place of R in the formula, you're going to put a 4, and then you're going to leave the n minus 1 exponent alone. Very good. That is equal to, that's what my explicit formula is going to be for the geometric sequence right there. Rana, are you paying attention, Rana? Good. Okay, so now should I multiply 3 times 4 here and just make this 12, Rana? Good, you're right, you shouldn't. Don't multiply these two numbers together. And the reason is, is because that four has that exponent attached to it, which makes us unable to multiply those two exponents together there, okay? So that would be the explicit formula, okay? Now let's do the recursive formula. So, Caitlin, Caitlin Zhang, pay attention. Okay, good. You're paying attention. So, Caitlin, let you go ahead and tell us what the recursive formula is. Excellent, Caitlin. So, in the place of A1, we're going to substitute a 3. And as Caitlin said, you leave the equal sign in the A as is. Then you're going to have a second line. You leave the A subscript N as is. You leave the equal sign as is. You leave the A subscript N minus 1 as is. You put the multiplication symbol, the dot, and then in place of R, you're going to substitute a 4. So that right there is going to be your recursive formula. Okay? So there's another example of it. You should have been taking notes on this. Okay? Do math well and prosper.